Calking with this box has been so f***ing miserable, man. Dude, it is wipe season. Yeah. It's looking bad. Good morning, gamers. How's it going? I'm not super locked in today. I'm still a little bit... I'm feeling weird. Um, so yeah, I blundered Blaziken last stream. I probably should have taken more time to calc the fight, but I didn't. It's okay. Yeah, the box is starting to look really thin, but it's okay. Let's try to lock in. This next fight that's coming up, I didn't do any cooking over the weekend. Because, you know, your boy needs a break. We'll go as far as we can today. I might get tilted pretty soon. We'll see. Pokedoku time. PM7. My goat. Um, okay. Final evolution, Kanto, dual type. Final evolution fighting makes me want to go like it, the, the later gen starter meta, which I think is still alive and well. We go Quekwavel here for a 0 0.9, easy. Final evolution water. I still think, is Walrein meta still a thing? I think it's still a thing. Yeah, it's definitely a thing. Final Evolution Ground. Um, give me like a... Give me a... War Madame. Fighting type Kanto. Mega Mewtwo X. Six. Not amazing. Kanto Water. You give me a Slowbro Mega, I think. And then Kanto Ground. Kanto Ground has, like, no special picks at all. Like, no Megas, no Forms, no crazy shit like that. So maybe just you just hit him with a Let's think about this. Maybe like a Cubone could work here. 5.5 is acceptable. Fighting dual type. I'm thinking maybe you hit like a Sneasel Hisui. Yeah, water type dual. Let's just keep this train going and go Celio. And then dual type ground. Swinub, I think, has been good in this position. Yeah, very good. Very good. Holy. 19 out of 14. 18 out of 14. God. One of the big problems I definitely see for this fight good luck until you get all 31 Shifu. is. I have nothing that outspeeds Crobat. <sighs> this thing's definitely a problem, and you need to stop, like, get it to not use Tailwind ever if you want to, like, fast kill the other side. <sighs> get it to target a Protect Mon. Yeah, that one fucking hurts. Thank you for stinging that one into my fucking heart immediately. Appreciate that one. I really do not want to use my last heart scale. Neutral 31 shreds for this fight. Okay. Because we're saying, like, protect on Gallade. I don't even think it's that good here. Okay. Um. Okay, I mean, you could lead Legion, maybe. Now you're just baiting fast kill here. Oh, this is really hard. This is already... I'm already pissed off. Yeah, you beta fast kill. Yeah, I want I want the I want roleplay stats blah, 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 roleplay strats on Tate to steal the leftovers. That's what I'm saving the scale for. It's I can I even lead fake out in this fight. Because the issue is, even if I full level Kecleon, 
Crobat sees a kill on it, it's obviously going to see a kill on Ludi, and it's obviously going to see a kill on me and Xiao. So my fake out leads are already dead. My protect lead is not going to work. I'm fucked. I'm actually fucked. Oh my god. Yeah, I have actually no options. None of my crowd control works here. This is actually so brutal. There's nothing I can lead with that prevents one of them from moving on turn one. S which means... I mean, okay, we could bait kills into one slot and switch. Maybe. So then whatever kills Exca... Okay, a damage boosted Basculesion could kill Exca. Who else could do it? Rhyperior? Maybe. Sent a Scorch dies to everything. Nitto Queen doesn't have enough damage. My own Exca dies to his Exca, obviously. So what? So so far we have things that can kill Excadrill. Legion. I think that's it. Barrascuta is not going to work because it's going to bait fast kill from Crobat. Can Flamethrower Pult do it? Not even close. So Lazzle baits fast kill from Crobat. Octillery baits fast kill... Uh, 85? Yeah. Rhyperior can do it. think that's it. Araquanid can do it, but it probably baits Acro. Yeah, for sure. If both slots bait kill from Crobat, it'll be random. Yeah. Walrein doesn't have any damage. Okay, so it looks like, from my perspective, It looks like my lead has to be exactly, precisely, and only Legion or Rhyperior. Legion is, like, worth thinking about. Okay, so these plus something that can beta kill. Let's look at Legion first. We obviously have to damage boost. I think Mystic Water isn't even enough, right? Yep, we would have to go Lorb. Which already complicates things. But is manageable. Can I bait Acro plus Iron Head? There's no way, right? Legion does not outspeed Exca, no. You have to get exactly Iron Head from him in the other slot. I don't think it's possible. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, this is looking... This is looking really bad. This has Mold Breaker too, so Levitate doesn't even work. Holy f***. <laughs> um, y'all... <laughs> I think I need Octillery for Space Tag. I'm not even close to the Cinder Ace. I think it's Ludi. 3% from Fake Out. Does that mean I can go Mystic? Um, 296. I mean, I could damage boost this. This works. <sighs> Bl 
Blaziken would be sick follow up here. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I think this is like the only lead that I have. Need Ludi for Seafloor Swamper. Bro, I need to get past this trainer if I want to get to Seafloor Swamper. It could be me and Xiao, I guess. Me and Xiao instead would do the same thing. Pre damaged Avalog. You don't know what you're talking about, my friend. I think I like me and Xiao Sack more. Basically, the problem is. There's no way that it's not Earthquake turn 1 from Exca. I think this is the only reasonable lead I have. This is so brutal. How do I even continue from this position? Because the... The Crobat is going to be a threat the entire time. It's so ass, like... Oh, Blaziken would be perfect. <laughs> Off. Oh, because you could bait the kills from both and detect and then switch into an acro the next turn. Oh, dude, Blaziken would be so good here. What a f***ing blunder. It sucks so much because I realized in hindsight that putting an Iron Ball on that Blaziken in the last fight would have also solved my turn 1 inaccuracy with killing with crit sometimes because it means I could have CC'd because it means that Galade would have never taken a mock Punch um, because um, Conkholder would have been plus 12 to kill Blaziken. Which means I didn't risk switching into Zen Head, but... <sighs> oh man. Kara Costa doing business doesn't do anything here. Can I get like Acro and Thunder Punch or something? No shot, right? It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Why is there no rewind thing on Twitch during live streams? YouTube has it. Because that technology is apparently extremely f***ing complicated. I talked to someone who worked on like desi designing like CDNs, content delivery networks, and he said he had no idea how they even did it on YouTube. Shit is apparently miraculous. I can't just accept Tailwind. I think. Well, I could. I guess. How much does Sticky Barb Crobat do to Ludi? It's a lot of damage. Ludi probably doesn't even bait Metacham, huh? Maybe this is my chance, though, to kill Cinder Ace. I could bait Cinder Ace and then fake out plus kill and risk Ludi getting crit. It's very unlikely because he can click other moves. This isn't terrible. I mean, it's inconsistent, but it can work. I mean, how much does does this do to Kecleon? Lead Costa plus something which baits Acro. Turn one. Seeing you tearing this Acro to Avalug. Protect with Costa. How do people usually do this fight? I'm not sure. Does this... Does Mystic Water Legion even bait... Yeah, I out damage you. And I out damage you. Wait, no, this is Medichim. So I could do Legion Kecleon. 
in after the Mianxiao sack. And Legion with Lorb baits Cinder Ace. And then we can fake out Cinder Ace and kill it. And all Crobat can do is either acro something for like zero damage or screech something, which is a little bit annoying. Or super fang something, which is a little bit annoying. And by a little bit, I mean quite a bit annoying, actually. Because the issue is, yeah, we get into kill range of Metacham if it hits Baskew. I don't really think Tailwind super matters either way. If I can be honest. I'm thinking right now, I'm thinking about clicking Icy Wind turn one to reduce the Crobat speed. And I want to think about if that gets me anything. How much does Crobat, if he has Sticky Barb, how much does he do? To Salazzle. So we could... F because Tailwind is forced. If he doesn't see kills, and one of my mons is faster than him. Like, you Icy Wind and Fake Out turn one with Legion. Right? And you Fake Out with me and Chow, and you sack it to Acro, and you give the Sticky Barb. And then you could bring in, like, Iron Ball Salazzle. Right? And you can kill Exka, because he's minus one speed. Force Tailwind and click Encore. What does Iron Ball accomplish? Means my Encore goes after his Tailwind. I'm just assuming Switch AI never triggers and doubles. That's what I've been told. And then you could get Metacham with the Iron Ball Salazzle. Well, it's Tailwind anyway, so he outspeeds everything anyway. And then we can start cooking. Um, the Barb... I don't need the Barb with this setup. I was thinking prevent kill on Salazzle, but I don't need it to do that. Okay. What the f do I delete for Icy Wind on Legion? We can think about that in a bit. Um, I might run into four moves. I, ha I probably have to delete Superpower. But anyway. And then you get Zen into Salazzle. Because Cham doesn't see any kills here. And you can fire off Spirit Shackle. And switch to something like Gren. Oh boys. I think I have something. It's slow on course, so it's only two turns of locking Crobat in. But maybe that's enough. Costa doesn't bait any kills from Cinderace. I mean, I am taking a Zen Headbutt, but then I'm baiting like random move and I can't predict which one he goes for, so I don't know which move to click with Legion. We could obviously go to Gren, but I don't think that improves our position. Like, at all. It's actually pretty bad. Oh, I could just switch to something... Yeah, because I'm killing Metacham over two turns anyway. But then I lose the I lose the Encore immediately, right? Maybe that's enough? Because I could go Gren and then to something else. Because I just kill Metacham with Sneak. And that's the last turn of Encore. So then I actually get a free switch in. I mean, this kills the right side. Because you just go to a fake out Mon. 
when Medicham dies. So you probably want to give Crobat the barb. And then I have one slot left to do the 2v1. That's not amazing, but maybe playable. Because this comes in for free. It fakes this out, right? And Legion kills. And then Crobat does something. We probably give it the barb and then get it back later. So Cinder Ace dies, and this either screeches or super fangs. It's minus one speed, by the way. It's taking a bunch of sticky barb damage. Okay, can I 2v1 from this position? I have one slot left. One of these mons is either screeched or super fanged. Which I believe means either of them need to switch out. Which is a little bit unfortunate. I guess we could force another Tailwind. Um, potentially, but no, I can't shackle. I can't. I can't icy plus shackle because Tailwind is up, obviously. Um, Legion can stay in no matter what, but it doesn't really do much from this position. So I would probably. Uh, I, c I don't think I can get my barb back, but I think I have to, if I want this to work, I have to give it the barb, because otherwise Kecleon dies to crit, right? Yeah. I guess I could go no item Kecleon. But I can't stay in. We can force Tailwind again. If we Icy Wind with Sand Slash. The turn that Metacham dies. He gets Icy Wind, right? Okay, Cinder Ace dies, and I think that's the last turn of Tailwind, right? Because it's... Tailwind, Tailwind, Tailwind. And then Cinder Ace dies. And now we're in an inconsistent position where either Basculegion or Kecleon are both either Screeched or Super Fanged. But it's a 2v1. We're a little bit low on slots. Tailwind is down. He has no reason to Tailwind. What do we do here? And can we get the sticky bar back? You're minus one speed. So Greninja can theoretically get it back for us. The idea is if I use a gem, I can later get the sticky bar back because Legion will have no item anymore. This is... So this definitely doesn't work on the Exca. I see plus liquidation. Plus fake out from Mian Shao. That's never going to be enough. People need to move to the back of the bus. This is six. I need 94 from Legion. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. What's up? Not quite there, but it's, dude, it, the line is so finicky. The end game is so weird. We could like, okay. Let's drop the Salazzle. Let's think about what happens if we do the opening and we fling Crobat on turn two and kill Exca. I could 
Encore Crobat into Acro. With Sticky Barb on it. Is that something? No, because now we're looking at like Sucker Punch stuff. Oh, dude, Light Ball Fling would actually be so f***ing sexy here. But we obviously don't have a Light Ball. Right, you can only get it off of like, what, Wild Pikachus or something? Can I force Tailwind turn one? There's no way, right? Yeah, it's not possible. What if you set up your own Tailwind turn one? Um... I think I just die. It's kind of possible if you lead Sigilyph. Because then you force Tailwind turn two from him. If you went, for example, Arcanine. This looks pretty good. Hold on. So you would lead. Sigilyph Mianxiao, you do the sack, and you Tailwind, and you bring out Arcanine. What if you, like, killed Exca And Crobat. What do you force here? He would look at Arcanine. Because we're showing him Sigilyph for... The Cinder Ace switch in. If I go Kecleon and Salazzle. Last turn of Encore. Sorry, last turn of Tailwind. I Encore Jinx into Fake Out. And Kecleon fakes out this guy for just a second. The the problem is the position is so in oh wait no, it's not even an inconsistent position. Because it's always Pyro Ball on this slot. I mean, someone's taking the fake out. 9 to 11. It's too much for consistency. 10 to 11. I think is... I think, yeah, that's fine. So now, Jinx is locked into Fake Out. Tailwind's gone. It's Pyro into the Kecleon slot. Or Zen into the Sigilyph slot. If I go back to Arcanine Sigilyph now, the problem is Sucker Punch AI, right? Mm. I do not believe that this is it. Okay, we're talking... Let's see. We're talking swapped leads, so... Sigilyph to bait Jinx, slow kill. Slot 1, Arcanine, slot 2, to bait... Well, to, to show fast kill to both, ideally. We'll have to figure that one out. And then it's exactly always close combat, fast kill into Arcanine. The problem is... Jinx sees slow kill on Sigilyph. Oh, but it has to fake out Arcanine anyway, right? EQ does 59 here on a lower defense, and darts does... Yeah, this kills both. You have to tank the CC with Torterra, though, to get the defense drop, so you actually kill Medicham. I'm gonna take another break, and then we'll write out the entire line, and then see how we feel about it, okay? Okay. Turn one. Uh, 
Ähm Think about slots here. Sigil of slot one. Mian Chao, fake out. Chromat. Then Crobat, Acro, Mian. Then Exca, EQs. Nothing. And Sigilif Tailwind. And we go Hamilton for Mianchao. Turn two. Sigilif. Psychic. Crobat. Hamilton. Flare Blitz. Exca. Sigilif slot one. Let's double check this. We'll bait slow kill Blizzard from Jinx. Hamilton slot two. Shows fast kill to Cinder Ace. Therefore, AI has to go Metacham. Ah, uh, it doesn't work. Because <sighs> we can't force the fake out from Jinx. Because Jinx doesn't see that it's dead to Arcanine because it has a Sash. We were so close, man. We were so close. We had two, we almost had, so I just got, so I cooked up two full lines that I thought would work that were then stopped dead on their tracks. I had like finished two lines almost and neither of them worked. I think that's all I got. Can't do more than that. Line still works if you candy. No, it's still a 50-50. So you're supposed to attack that turn. But if I, I mean, if I scale, I have a bunch of other lines because I can scale like protect Gallade and shit like that. And then it's like, then I have like crazy options. Yeah, I gotta call it. I'll be back tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow.